Are you a small business owner with a groundbreaking idea for a medical device? If so, this video could be your gateway for funding that could revolutionize healthcare. Today, we're exploring the Blueprint MedTech Small Business Translator Grant, an incredible opportunity for you and innovators developing therapeutic and diagnostic devices targeting nervous system disorders. This grant offers significant funding to help you advance your device from concept to reality, covering everything from clinical prototypes to safety testing and regulatory approvals. Overall, the program has millions in funding available with individual applicants eligible for grants of up to $2 million. However, it's important to note that this could exclude you from applying. To qualify, your organization must be a U.S.-based small business organ organized for-profit and primarily operate within the country. Your business should be more than 50% owned by U.S. citizens or permanent residents, and you must have no more than 500 employees. Notably, businesses that are predominantly owned by multi multiple venture capital firms, hedge funds, or private equity firms are ineligible. Additionally, applicants involved in activities that may present a security risk or those with the relationships with foreign countries of concern may also face disqualification. The next apl application deadline is September 27th, 2024, so make sure to mark your calendars. Before applying, you'll need to complete essential registration, such as obtaining a DUNS number and signing up with the System for Award Management, and that is SAM for short, ERA Commons, and Grants.gov. Starting this process early is crucial as it can take several weeks. When, when crafting your application, focus on the research strategy section, clearly outline the significance of your project, concentrating on a single neurological disorder. Describe current knowledge, existing treatments, and how your device address addresses unmet clinical needs. Highlight the advantage of your device offers over existing options and its potential to impact clinical practice. Don't forget to include supporting data for entry, which should validate your study's feasibility. Present preliminary results and proof of concept data from a prototype along with a clear description of your device. Your application must also include a technology translation plan that outlines how your technology will be adopted into clinical practice. This should detail your device development timeline, regular contact, and any changes to existing practice. You'll need a phase two milestone plan that details project performance and timeline objections focusing on key stages like participant recruitment and retention. In section three, of this of these guidelines address the protection of human subjects, including a nerd component that discusses ethical considerations related to your study design, participant safety, and long-term implications. Submit a da data safety and monitoring plan that outlines safety risks and how they will be mitigated, as well as handling participant recruitment and informed consent. Describe whether your study will use an FDA-regulated intervention and provide details on the investigational product in its IND or IDE status, summarize interactions with the FDA, including minutes from pre-submission meetings and any relevant communications. Finally, reviewers will evaluate the overall impact of your project, key considerations, including the significance of your work, the qualica qualifications of your team, the innovation of your approach and the feasibility of your study design. Be prepared to address additional review considerations, including select agent research, resource sharing plans, and budget justification. Reviewers will assess how well you've planned for data management, inclusion of diverse populations, and protections for human subjects. After peer review, applications will receive a written critique. Only the top scoring applications will be discussed in detail, and funding decisions will be based on scientific merit, availability of funds, and alignment with program priorities. For more information, check out the Blue Tech uh, MedTech. I'm sorry, the Blueprint MedTech website. Don't miss this chance to secure the funding uh, for these federal grants.